Hi, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the seven surprising rules for feeding your chickens. Before we get into that, please be sure to like and subscribe our YouTube channel. If you find the content informational, if you've learned something new, please be sure to like and subscribe and be sure to share the channel. That's how we continue to grow so we can continue to put out great content for you guys. Also, be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. So as you know, if you don't feed your chickens, they will die eventually. So it's very important to feed your chickens and be on top of that every single day. Make sure that you also feed them the right stuff. So when it comes to raising backyard chickens, it's important to get it right. So you'll have a healthy flock who will merrily cluck every time you bring them one of their favorite snacks or chicken scraps. If you get it wrong and it can lead to reduced egg production, deformed eggs, feather picking, and other unwanted behavior. So once you know what you're doing, feeding your chickens is quite straightforward. We think what makes it tricky are some of the false myths that are posted online about what you can and can't feed your chickens, such as feeding your chickens potato skin is bad for them. This is totally false. Chickens love potato skin. The basis of any good chicken diet is a high quality poultry pellet source. We feed our chickens pellets, which provide them with the right amount of protein and minerals to lay eggs. Pellets normally contain wheat, salt, maize, sunflower seeds, and oats. Feeding your chickens pellets ensures that they get vital vitamins, nutrients, and minerals from their food source to keep them healthy. Even more important if your girls don't have a lot of outdoor space because they won't get minerals and salt from the ground if they're less free range or if they're not free range. In addition to their core diet of pellets, you can give them grains such as corn or wheat to give them some variety. Chickens love fruit and vegetables and you can give them this daily. We feed our chickens vegetables peels, bananas, apple cores, carrots, and broccoli. You're safe to feed your chickens pretty much any vegetable or fruit except raw green peels, such as green potato peel, and any citric fruits such as orange and lemon. Just remember that they need whole grain, low salt, and low sugar foods. Does this mean you can't feed them scraps from your dinner? Absolutely not. We discuss chicken scraps that we give our chickens later on. So let's just go over a couple of pellet brands that you can feed them. First one is Scratch and Peck Feeds, Naturally Free Organic Layer Feed. The second one is Combatch, All Natural Feed, Mana Pro, Layer Pellets for Chickens, and then Scratch and Peck Feeds, Naturally Free Organic Grower Feed. So now you know what you should be feeding your chickens. The next question is how you should feed them. We feed our chickens pellets once in the morning and once in the evening. Remember, they like to eat small portions, but often. Some people prefer to throw chicken pellets straight onto the floor and let the chickens peck at it there. We put our pellets in a trough to keep them clean and dry. So the next question you might have is how much should you feed them? Generally, free range chickens won't overeat, so you can't overfeed them. If you put too many pellets in their feeder, they won't eat them. Be careful not to leave any pellets or feed out overnight because this will attract pests such as mice. Over time, you'll learn exactly how much feed your chickens need, which will depend on the breed, how active they are in the time of year. If you're constantly finding feed in the trough, then reduce the amount that you give them slightly. It would be best if you were to clean up also any leftover scraps, remember that leaving them can attract insects like ants and flies or even attract rats. Interesting side note, a hen needs roughly four pounds of chicken feed to produce 12 eggs. We can link that source here in the description. So another question that you might have is how often should you feed them? It'll depend more on your circumstances than on the chickens. If you are retired and spend most of your time at home, you can feed them pellets several times throughout the day. However, if you work or are away from your home throughout the day, then you are best feeding them once in the morning and then again during the evening when you're back home. One thing to keep an eye on while you're feeding them is to make sure the most dominant hens don't eat all the food. If this is becoming an issue, consider feeding the weaker birds on their own to ensure they get some food. And also, it's super important that you obviously provide water for your hens. Providing your hens with water is pretty straightforward. You just need to make sure they have access to clean, fresh water water at all times. You can place the water in any plastic container, but the easiest way is just buy a drinker. If you live in a colder climate, the water will probably freeze over during the evening, so make sure to break the ice up and clean out the bowl in the mornings. Now, let's talk about feeding chickens table scraps. You know, of course, no chicken feeding discussion is ever complete without talking about that. One of the many benefits of keeping chickens is that the vast majority of your kitchen waste can be fed to them. This means that they get a varied diet and you get to save money. Make sure to feed your chickens wholesome foods such as rice, pasta, oats, 
fruits, vegetables, and wholemeal bread. As a general rule, if you can eat it, so can they. I wouldn't say the same for like fast food. That's totally different. That's not something like that. So for example, this excludes any fatty foods or foods with lots of salt. When we feed our chicken scraps, we tend to just cut it up into small thumbnail sized pieces and throw this straight under the floor into their pen. We only place pellets in their trough. You'd be amazed at some of the scraps your chickens can eat, pizza, spaghetti, and porridge, just to name a couple. Before you feed your chicken scraps, make sure to check your local regulations as in certain places. For example, in the, such as the UK, this can be surprisingly illegal. So now we're gonna go over some healthy treats. Uh, we're just gonna do a quick little list here. The five healthy treats that we recommend are worms. They absolutely love worms. They also can eat pumpkin seeds and, and pumpkin as well. Apple cores straight into the pen as well as in apple as well. Say that you have a bad apple. Another one is a broccoli. For some reason, they really enjoyed that. And then porridge. They only eat this during the winter months though. Let's talk about what you shouldn't feed them. Now, like we said before, anything that's super high in salt as well as fatty foods. On top of that, other foods you shouldn't feed your chickens include avocado, rhubarb, garlic, sweets and any heavily processed foods like potato chips. So the feed method, it would be best if you fed your chickens more so off the ground. So that means in a trough. I know that's completely opposite. You probably picture a farmer with a apron nonchalantly tossing corn to her chickens. And we know that the image is picturesque. The circumstances might be a tad different for some people as well. So for example, your chickens may not be free range, meaning they are in a small space of confinement. That means they are living amongst their droppings. Throwing feed on the ground in the coop is not the same as tossing a few snacks to chickens who have the run of the yard. Mixing feed with droppings can lead to parasitic infections, the spread of disease, or cochidiosis. It's best to use a tray or a feeder or a dish of your choice to feed your chickens and keep their feed out of their own droppings. So what can happen if their diet isn't right? The first thing to say is if you notice a significant change in their eating habits, be sure to contact an ovarian vet to look at them as soon as possible. However, if their diet isn't right, there will be certain signs such as like reduced egg production. If the season hasn't changed and their egg production just changes significantly, this could indicate something's wrong with their diet. General unrest and feather picking. Again, if the seasons haven't changed and they're picking at their feathers or each other's feathers, this could mean their diet also isn't correct. Abnormal eggs. If you find that the eggs they do lay are too small or constant, contain double yolks, this would indicate that their diet isn't right. If you are looking for a handy cheat sheet, we'll link a, a link in the description, which is a cheat sheet that the Australian government's agricultural department produced. So some common questions that we're going to answer here. Is it illegal to feed a chicken chicken? Yes, in many places, including the United States, you cannot legally feed a chicken chicken. It is illegal to feed an animal any meat that is from the same animal. This law helps reduce the risk of disease that only affect certain species. What else is not safe for chickens to eat? So like we said, don't feed them out avocado, specifically the peel or the pit, no candy, no citrus, as well as no dry beans or rotten or moldy food, as well as green potato skins or junk food. Do I need to feed my chickens if they are free range? Yes, even if your chickens are free range, you should feed them. Why is it illegal in some states to feed chickens mealworms? It's simply not suitable for your chickens to feed them insect protein protein. While not all areas ban this, some do. The issue comes from the fact that most mealworms and other insects dried for use in protein tend to be raised eating animal protein and waste. It's not good for your chickens as you have no control over the feed quality or even whether the mealworms consume chicken meat. So with that being said, you can feed them chicken treats like black soldier fly larvae as well as mealworms. I'm sure there's plenty of people who are out there that have had experiences where their chickens have been fine. So I think that is subjective. That's going to do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. Again, if you find this content valuable, if you learned something new, if we changed your mind, changed some perspective, please be sure to like and subscribe and share the channel. That's how we continue to grow so we can continue to put out great content. And with that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.